Hi guys, I wanted to do this quick tip because somebody showed this to me uh, many years ago and it's amazing. So I wanted to make sure that everybody knows about this. Um, do you ever do what I do? So if you're creating anything and you've got lots of bits of fondant out um, and then I usually go and put the kettle on, have about five biscuits um, and then I come back and I think, oh, I should have covered this up, should have put it in a sandwich bag, you know, to keep it nice and moist, but I haven't because I'm rubbish. And I end up with sort of dry bits of fondant like this. You can see there. But rather than just throwing this away, I've got a little trick for you. This. It's called Trex. Um, it actually um, has been around for years and years and years and years, but it's fantastic for getting your fondant back to really silky and moist. Um, it's dairy free, which is fantastic. Um, and what I tend to do is you get a big tub like this, you buy it where you get your butters and your spreads in the supermarket, massive tub. Um, I think it's a little over a pound, so not dear. And then what I tend to do is put some in an old clean jam jar and then you get your dried bit of fondant, get a little bit, it's really greasy, so don't touch your hair or anything afterwards, um, but really greasy. Get that on your fingers and then just squidge it in and you'll find that those hard, dry edges, they just go. It's, it's just like a, a miracle. And especially when you're using flour paste as well, and you know how expensive that is, um, it just brings it back to life. So always make sure that you do keep your fondant in a sandwich bag, cellophane, somewhere where it's airtight. But if you're, you know, a bit silly like I was, but you look at that, there's no dry edges at all. And you look how lovely and smooth it is. And there you go. Just show you on this one. This is a little bit drier. So a little bit of Trex in your hand. It doesn't change the taste of the fondant either. So that's really good. But you just want to give it a really good squidge. It's got a, like a Vaseline kind of feeling to it, but just give it a little squidge and look, you can see just how that's brought to life. So quick tip number three, get yourself some Trex, keep it in a little jam jar in the fridge. It's a lifesaver. So take care, see you soon.